Our teacher Genku was well versed with Buddhism, and he showed pity on ordinary foolish people, whether good or evil. By spreading the true teaching and realization, in this scattered land, he propagated widely, the selected primal vow to this evil world. Our continued return to this cyclic home of birth and death, is certainly due to the hindrance of doubt. Swift entrance into the peaceful, uncreated realm of bliss, is necessarily brought about by Shinjin. In deep reverence and gratitude to his teacher master Hunen, Genku, Shinran Shonin wrote these beautiful verses, in his Gatu of True Faith, they precisely capture the essential teachings, passionately expounded by this seventh lineage teacher of Jodo Shinshu, the true pure land school. With his vast knowledge of the various teachings, taught in the Buddha Dharma, Master Hunen was brought to realize, that ordinary foolish persons, during this badly defiled Dharma ending age, are absolutely incapable of performing any kind difficult, self-power practices to attain enlightenment. Pitying pathetic persons with extremely poor spiritual aptitudes, like ourselves, he widely propagated the easy path of salvation, that relies completely on the other power, Amida Buddha's primal vow, for our guaranteed birth in Sukhavati, the land of peace and happiness. Master Hunen, 1133-1212, was an important personality, in the Buddhist history of Japan. Born in the district of Mimasaka, Japan, present-day Okayama Prefecture, as the only child of a provincial official, he became a monk at the age of nine, according to the wishes of his dying father. At the age of fifteen, he went up to Mount Hiei in Kyoto, the most famous center for Buddhism at that time, and fervently studied both the Tantric, as well as exoteric Buddhism of the Tendai school, under prominent teachers for twenty-five years. His main teacher, Master Aiku, who gave him his Buddhist name, Hunenbogenku, was a lineage teacher of the Yuzunembutsu sect, that emphasized the recitation of the name, with visualization and meditation on Amida Buddha. For most of his time on Mount Hiei, he lived in seclusion, at a hermitage with his teacher, away from the glare and politics, so prevalent then. Being an extremely serious scholar and practitioner, Master Hunen, accomplished the rare feat, of reading through the voluminous Mahayana Tripitaka, five times, in his perpetual search for an assured path to enlightenment. Deeply impressed by his teacher's detailed lecture on the Ojo Yoshu, collected essays on birth in the Pure Land, written by a famous Tendai Buddhist monk, Master Genshine, he wrote four commentaries on it. Master Hunen was then brought to share, the same view with Master Genshine, that he was just an ordinary foolish person of deep evil, absolutely incapable of achieving enlightenment, through the performance of difficult, self-power, meditative and non-meditative, practices. However, though Master Hunen was deeply inspired by the Ojo Yoshu, he was still unable to find an effective practice, that would definitely lead him out of the pain and horror of samsara, the vicious cycle of birth, suffering and death. As he continued his search in the library on Mount Hiei, he found the commentary on the Sutra of Contemplation on Infinite Life, written by Master Shan Tao, a well-known, accomplished Buddhist master, who had widely propagated the true pure land dharma of salvation, during the Tang dynasty in China, about 500 years before. Studying and reading through the complete writings of Master Shan Tao, eight times, he was suddenly awakened, by the fact that, he was actually saved solely by the power of Amida Buddha's primal vow of boundless compassion. That dramatic conversion experience, 
took place in the year 1175, when he was 43 years old. Abandoning all sundry meditative and non-meditative practices, that he had been fervently performing for over 25 years, struggling to attain enlightenment, Master Hunen was finally settled, on the path of total reliance on Amida's primal vow. Rejecting the interpretations of the self-power Nembutsu teachings, taught in Tendai, Shingon and other Mahayana traditions, he concluded that faith, Shinjin, and Nembutsu, saying Namo Amida Butsu, rooted in the primal vow, are the true causes, for an aspirant's assured birth in Sukhavati. In the year 1197, he wrote the Sencha Kushu, selection of the Nembutsu in the primal vow, setting down the doctrinal basis, for the exclusive practice of Nembutsu. Soon after that dramatic awakening to Amida's vow power, Master Hunen descended Mount Hie, and started propagating, the exclusive Nembutsu teaching of Master Shantao. As the time and environment at that time, favors this easy practice among the common folks, the Nembutsu teaching, quickly gained enormous popularity and acceptance. However, the established Buddhist sects, became extremely jealous, and persistently petitioned the authorities, to ban the Nembutsu teachings. As a result, when two of Master Hunen's disciples, incurred the wrath of the Emperor, by converting two court ladies, the Nembutsu teaching was prohibited in the year 1206. Master Hunen, together with Master Shinran, and other disciples, were stripped off their monkhood, and banished to remote areas in Japan. Master Hunen was exiled, to the remote island of Shikoku. After he was pardoned in the year 1211, he went back to Kyoto. Having accomplished his mission, of spreading the precious Nembutsu teaching, to millions of pitiful persons, like ourselves, he returned to the pure land, AJT. We are deeply indebted to Master Hunen, for his wisdom and compassion, in passing down to us, the soul lamp, that lights up our path of salvation, in this age of spiritual darkness. The true pure land dharma, specially taught by Master Hunen, directly revealed the wonderful working of Amida Buddha's universal vow of boundless compassion. His marvelous teaching, essential to Jodo Shinshu, is that ordinary foolish persons, who are overwhelmed by stubborn blind passions, should rely entirely on Amida's primal vow for their salvation. In taking pity on the multitudes of these lowly gifted, hopeless persons, Master Hunan exhorts everyone, to abandon completely, all meditative and non-meditative practices, which are definitely not in accord, with their pathetic spiritual capacities. With compassion for all hopeless, miserable aspirants, like ourselves, Master Hunan urges everyone, to put all our attention, single-mindedly, on the main practice of saying the Buddha's name, Nembutsu. In his Sencha Kushu, he carefully explains to us, why the Nembutsu, is the practice, exclusively selected by him, from among the five right practices, namely, reciting sutras, contemplating Amida and his pure land, worshipping Amida, saying the Buddha's name and praising Amida. He asserts that, saying the Buddha's name, with entrusting faith, Shinjin, in Amida's primal vow, is the right act of assurance, that definitely guarantees, our birth in the pure land. Thus, the moment when we are able to entrust ourselves, single-heartedly in the primal vow, Amida Buddha's infinite merits and virtues, are transferred to us, for our going forth to the pure land. As taught by Master Hunen, in his famous, one-sheet document, delivered just before he departed for the pure land, 
we should deeply understand, that Nembutsu with faith, is all we need, to get out of samsara, in this defiled age. The primal vow, is Amida Buddha's absolute promise to save all miserable persons like ourselves, who are incapable to perform any spiritual practice. Thus, abandoning all self-power practices, and single-heartedly relying on this vow of great compassion, is now, our only option, if getting out of samsara at the end of this life, is indeed our goal. Persons with entrusting faith in the primal vow, are truly settled in their minds and hearts, while they are still living out, their present, mortal lives. Entrusting faith, Shinjin, on our part, the persons to be saved, is the faith mind consciousness that fully accept the primal vow without any doubt. It comes about with the awareness that we are evil beings, who have been transmigrating, from the beginningless past, with absolutely no possibility of escape, from this dreadful cycle of relentless pain and suffering. Thus, we accept Amida Buddha's primal vow that firmly embraces us, and that its vow power absolutely guarantees our births in the pure land. We would then, say the Buddha's name, Namo Amida Butsu, in deep gratitude, for the rest of our fleeting lives, and thus remembering, the great compassion of the Buddha, for having saved, miserable persons like us. Stage of the truly settled, also called the stage of non-retrogression, is a term originally used in the traditional Mahayana teachings to describe the stage of spiritual development in the Bodhisattva's paths to enlightenment, when these Bodhisattvas, after trillions of years of hard practices, will never again, backslide in their attainments. This stage of non-retrogression, is instantly received by us, the very moment, here and now, when our Shinjin is truly settled. As we are now relying single-heartedly and fully on Amida Buddha's vow power, we too will not backslide into samsara ever again, and are absolutely assured of advancing to nirvana, without going through countless billions of lives, performing self-power, difficult practices, on the bodhisattva's path. Listening deeply to the true pure land expositions of Master Hunen, highlighting the absolute relevance and significance of the marvelous teaching of Nembutsu with faith, may all foolish mundane persons like us, follow only, the true pure land path. May all suffering persons, mindfully take heed of the benevolent advice of our truly accomplished teachers, and seize this extremely rare opportunity, making full use of this precious human birth, before it quickly comes, to the inevitable end. Abandoning all self-power meditative and non-meditative practices, and entrusting our karmic destiny entirely to Amida Buddha and the primal vow we single-heartedly say the Buddha's name in gratitude. The Buddha's infinite merits and virtues are bestowed equally on all beings. May all accept Amida's gift of Shinjin and obtain birth in his land of peace and bliss. Thus, we have definitely heard the call of boundless compassion. Namo Amida Butsu Namo Amida Butsu Namo Amida Butsu